everyone, it's Miss Melody from the Lettington Library Junior Room. Welcome back to Try It Out with Miss Melody. Today, September 21st, is actually a holiday. Do you know what today is? It's a holiday that a lot of people have never heard of, but I think is very important. Today is International Peace Day. International Peace Day was created to help countries and people and communities stop and think about what peace was and why it was important, and maybe even ways that people like you and me can spread peace to the people around us. So today we're gonna to be thinking about peace, what it is, how we might spread peace to other people, how we might feel if it is peaceful, and we are gonna be creating some peace pinwheels that look like this. We're gonna be decorating the backs to look nice and colorful, and on the inside we're gonna be writing or drawing about some things that we think about when we think of peace. Here are the supplies that you're going to need. You're gonna need a piece of paper, a ruler, some scissors, some art supplies, a pencil, and a push pin. If you are using the push pin and you're a little bit younger, make sure you have a parent to help you out because they are sharp. The first thing that we need to do is make a square with our paper. Most paper is a rectangle. So we're gonna to have to take some of this out to make it a square. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one corner and fold it down so it's lined up like that. And you see how there's just a little bit hanging off the end there? That's the part that we're gonna get rid of. So we're gonna use our scissors. We're gonna cut them right along the edge of the paper, taking off that little strip that was extra. So now we don't have a rectangle anymore. We have a square that has a line right across the middle, and we're actually gonna create another line by folding our square in the opposite direction. So we did this way before, and now we're gonna take one corner and meet it with the opposite corner and make a nice little crease. So we should have crease going both ways. It kind of looks like an X in the middle. Now it's time to get creative. You are gonna make one side of this piece of paper as colorful as you can. Use nice bright colors, all of your favorites. You can make a design, you can make a picture, whatever you would like. But the design you make on this side is gonna be the colorful part of the pinwheel that you see. So you want nice bright colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on mine and we'll see what I come up with. So this is the design that I came up with. I wanted to use as many bright colors as I could, so I decided to do a kind of squiggly rainbow. When I think of rainbows, I think of the sun coming out from behind the clouds. It gives me a really hopeful feeling. So I wanted to add that into my pinwheel and use as many colors as possible. So now that I have my fun design on the back, I'm ready to flip over to the blank side. And on the blank side, you can do a couple of different things. You can either use words or you can use pictures to write or draw about peace. And there's lots of things to think about when we're thinking about peace. We can think about what feels peaceful and calm to us. What makes us feel calm after maybe we've had a hard time or we've had a disagreement with someone? What are some things that we can do to help our bodies feel peaceful and to calm down? We can also think of why peace is important. Why should we have peace in a world where there's so many different countries and people are so different from each other? Why does it matter to have peace? Or you can write or draw about things that you can do to spread peace, maybe to your family, maybe to your school or your community. I think that's what I'm gonna do on the inside of my peace pinwheel. Now, we are not gonna be able to see all of the words on the inside of your peace pinwheel. You can write them really big or really small, but when we fold up the pinwheel, some of them are probably gonna be hidden, and that's okay. This is really just to kind of think about what peace means to us. So I am gonna start thinking about ways that I can spread peace, and I can make other people around me feel safe or feel noticed, ways that I can be kind to other people so they feel included, so I'm gonna go ahead and write some of those down and then I'm gonna share them with you. All right, so I was able to think of quite a lot of ideas of things that I can do to spread peace to the people around me, whether that's my family or my friends or people that I don't even know very well. So here are some of the things that I came up with. 
said, if I want to spread peace to people around me, I can listen to other people's ideas. I can practice being patient. I can help others and use kind words. I can say sorry if I'm wrong, which is not always easy. I can share things that I have with other people. I can invite people to join me if I notice that they're alone. I can be a problem solver. If someone's having a hard time solving a problem, I can help them out. And I can think about things I'm thankful for instead of maybe complaining about the things that I don't have. So all of these are ways that I can spread peace to the people around me. So now I've done both sides, I'm ready to make it into a pinwheel. So I am going to need something to write with and my ruler, and I'm gonna need my scissors now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refold along those diagonal lines. Because I've been coloring, it's kind of hard to see them. So I'm gonna fold corner to corner one way and crease it. Then I'm gonna fold corner to corner the other way and crease it as well. Then we are gonna cut our pinwheel. And what I wanna do is cut about one third of the way in. So I'm gonna use my ruler and my um, pinwheel, my piece of paper is about 12 inches across if I'm measuring it diagonally like this because we're gonna be cutting along those diagonal lines. So I am going to make a line that's about four inches from this corner. And again, I might be going over some of my words and that's okay. And four inches from this corner. See those? And then I'm gonna do that with the other two corners as well. Four inches from each end. Then I am going to cut along those lines. So I'm gonna use my scissors cut right into the middle and end where that line ends. So I show four little flaps, kind of waving a little bit. Now I'm ready to use my push pin. I'm gonna be making some little holes with my push pin. Probably the easiest way to do this is to get down on the carpet if you have it, or if you have a little piece of cardboard, you can put your pinwheel on top and we're gonna push our push pin through the paper and into the cardboard. So I'm gonna make one hole right in the middle. So right where my two lines meet in the center, I'm gonna make one hole with my push pin. And then I am going to put a hole in every other corner. Not too far to the edge, we don't want it to rip, but just right in the edge of the corner. I'm gonna put one here, then skip a corner, put one here, skip a corner, put one here, skip a corner, and put one here. So I should have four holes. One, two, three, and four. Now very carefully and asking a parent for help if we need it, we're gonna put our push pin through the holes, just the sharp end, not the wide end, because that's not gonna fit. So I'm gonna start by putting it through one of the holes. Then I'm gonna thread it through another hole. When I'm putting it through, I'm always putting it through the colored side, the part that I decorated, not the part with the words. Uh, my third one and my fourth one. After I've put my push pin through all four of those holes, I'm gonna stick it through the hole right in the middle as well. Very carefully so we don't poke ourselves. All right. So it should look a little bit like this. You should be able to see a little bit of your words on the inside, but mostly you should be able to see that nice colorful background. Now we're gonna use our pencil. Your pencil should have a nice eraser on it because that's where we're gonna be sticking our um, pinwheel. We're gonna stick it right into the eraser and you probably will need an adult's help with this because it is kind of sharp. You don't wanna stick it all the way through your eraser. You want it sticking out a little bit because you wanna be able to turn your pinwheel. So I'm gonna stick it in there very carefully. Now I can turn my pinwheel. 
You can set this outside in your yard so maybe your neighbors walking by can see it or you can set it in a pencil case. So every time you look at it, you can think about peace and what that means to you. Maybe you can share some of the ideas that you came up with with your family or with your friends and talk to them about what peace means to them and why it is important. So before you go, if you wanna learn more about peace, if this is something that you like talking about, you'd be interested in learning more about, I have a few books to share with you. All of these are about peace. And all of these are also pretty easy readers. So these are gonna be best for maybe preschool or early elementary students. The first book is called Talk Peace. This is by Sam Williams. It's a very simple book that just tells about some ways that you can show peace towards other people using your voice. The next book I have for you is called Peace is an Offering. And this show this talks about a lot of different ways that you can spread peace to other people. So kind of like what I wrote about on the inside of my pinwheel, what are some things that you can do with the people around you that may, might make them feel better, that might make them feel more peaceful? And this is by Annette Labox. Peace is an Offering. The last book I have for you is a very simple title. It's just called Peace. This is by Baptiste Paul and Miranda Paul. And this is also gonna talk about what peace is and what are some things that you can do to spread it to other people. So I hope you enjoyed this activity. If you create some of these pinwheels, we would love to see them. You can post them in the comments below and I will see you soon. Have a nice day.